BD Veritor Plus analyzer should be charged using the power cable upon unboxing and anytime power gets low. The power cable is also used for walkaway mode testing, which will be covered later in the video. Next, to power the analyzer, press the center of the blue power button on the face of the analyzer and release. The LCD screen will show the BD logo during startup. The analyzer then goes through a brief self-test routine. The software version will appear on the LCD display and then the self-test result will be displayed. This instrument internal system check is carried out every time the instrument is powered on. Next, the screen will read Insert Test Device or Double Click Button for Walk Away Mode, indicating it is ready for testing in either Analyze Now or Walk Away Test Mode. For the first time use of a BD Veritor Plus Analyzer and before testing patient specimens, a system verification check should be performed with a supplied and reusable verification cartridge. Using the Analyze Now test mode, simply insert the orange verification cartridge into the test device slot. A distinct click indicates when the test device is fully inserted. After a quick three-second reading and analysis, Verify Pass appears on the LCD screen. Store the verification cartridge in the original Ziploc pouch for regular use. The frequency of verification testing is determined by each site's regulations or practices. The Analyze Now workflow is the same as the original BD Veritor reader. The patient specimen is prepared according to the BD Veritor assay product package insert instructions. The assay timing step is completed prior to inserting the test device for interpretation by the analyzer. Now, we'll do a simulated walk-away test. Power on the analyzer. When Insert Test Device or double-click button for walk-away mode appears in the display window, double-click the power button. You'll be reminded to connect the external power if the analyzer is not already plugged in. This is a requirement for walk-away mode. Make sure the instrument is resting on a level surface. A three-minute countdown timer will be displayed on the LCD screen indicating the time available to prepare the patient sample. The test device may be inserted any time during these three minutes. When the sample is prepared, add three drops of the processed patient specimen to the test device sample well and immediately insert the test device fully into the test device slot. A distinct click indicates when the test device is fully inserted. A countdown timer appears on the LCD screen indicating the assay incubation period. Depending upon the type of test, the countdown will take from 5 to 10 minutes. After completion of the countdown, test results are read, analyzed, and displayed in a few seconds. The test result remains on the display screen as long as the test device is in the instrument or until the auto-off period is reached either 15 minutes on battery power or one hour with the power adapter plugged in. Make sure to record the test result before removing the test device. With the option of two different test modes, customers can choose the workflow suitable for their needs. For example, during a busy flu season, customers may have several samples to analyze at once and might choose to process them in batches. Analyze Now mode, with only seconds of reading time, will enable processing multiple samples quickly. The BD Veritor Plus Analyzer also has the capability to connect to a printer to print test results instantly for record keeping. A small and portable printer along with a dedicated USB cable is required at an additional cost. 
The BD Veritor InfoScan, a barcode scanning module, and BD Veritor InfoSync, a scanner and connectivity module. Accessories are available to add data traceability and LIS connectivity capabilities to the BD Veritor Analyzer. The BD Veritor Plus Analyzer is easy to maintain and troubleshoot. It comes with an instrument lifetime warranty, 3,500 tests or two years usage, whichever comes first, and is supported by BD Global Technical Service and Support. Please refer to the Instructions for Use booklet for additional information or troubleshooting guidance.